hatred for those choices. Irrelevant of your skin colors. When you say white privilege exists, good choice privilege exists. Yeah, but I think uh, white people reap a lot of benefits. Name one benefit that white people, but that they re they benefit from this society, despite police Asian, treatment. What? Police treatment. What about police, police treatment? Police that, treatment. That that white people are more likely to be shot by a police officer than a black person is likely to be shot Where by a police officer. From the Federal Bureau of Investigation and the Department of Justice independent study of 300 independent this police forces across the country. Must not Facts must bother leftists because they always walk away as soon as you recite You can make you have a shit ton of leftists here who are still standing here. Today. Well. I'm I've already made a couple of me, but I'm happy to keep talking. Oh, you made a couple! Well, that's great. No, that, but let, let's get back. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back going to a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie effortlessly dismantle the racist white privilege meat. Okay, this is going to be amazing to watch. I call him Charlie Kick. His real name is Charlie Kick. Um, this is gonna be amazing. Let's get right into it. Do you believe in Asian American privilege? Hey, wealth yeah. doesn't mean power and privilege. Do you believe in Asian American privilege? I believe that there is a that there are a few people of certain races who have gotten very, very wealthy based on trade, based on well, the economic system that we have. Um, I also believe that as a white man, I historically have an advantage over people who are of a color that is not my skin. This can be, this is evident from the, from the slave trade, all the way up to reconstruction, and all the way up to Jim Crow laws. I, I assume based on your facial expression that you have a report, I'm going to go ahead and let you make it. So did we treat Asian Americans well in the 1940s and 50s? We sure didn't. So then how did they overcome that? They overcame that through a... Were they privileged? Having to work harder than white people. Oh, so they worked harder and they were rewarded for it 60 years later. How about people that work hard for like 350 years and then get any resources? Yeah. Like who? Slaves. Yeah, slaves. What, 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 what do you mean? Do you know anyone that's ever owned a slave? Do I know anyone that's ever owned a slave? Yes. What does that have to do with that? has a lot to do with it. What does that have to do with like... Because if you, make three, if you make three big choices in America, you're guaranteed not to live in poverty. You know what those three choices are? Get married, get, mar get married before you have kids, get a job, and graduate high school. You know what community does that at the highest rate? Asian Americans. That's why they're successful. We live in a meritocracy. You make good choices, you will be rewarded for those choices. Irrelevant of your skin colors. When you say white privilege exists, good choice privilege exists. True. Yeah, but I think uh, white people reap a lot of benefits. Name one benefit that white people, but that they re they benefit from this society, despite police Asian treatment. What? Police treatment. What about police, police treatment? Police that, treatment. That, that white people are more likely to be shot by a police officer than a black person is likely to be shot Where by a police officer. From the Federal Bureau of Investigation and the Department of Justice independent study of 300 independent this police forces across the country. Must not Facts must bother leftists because they always walk away as soon as you recite You can make you have a shit ton of leftists back. here who are still standing here. Today. Well. I'm I've already made a couple of me, but I'm happy to keep talking. Oh, you made a couple. Oh, that's great. No, that, but that's let's get back. Can you, if white, if white, no, 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 that's quantifiable evidence. If white privilege exists, why are Asian Americans and Indian Americans wealthier, have higher incomes, live in better areas on aggregate than white Americans do? I don't know. Maybe because white privilege doesn't exist. <laughs> Maybe, or maybe oh, there's... maybe it doesn't. Okay. Maybe. Maybe skin color has nothing to do with it, but and choices I have everything to do with it. I disagree with that. Then show me some evidence, because I just showed you some evidence that it doesn't exist. What, what would you take as evidence? What counts yeah. you Something that I just said, for example, that the wealthiest some, some people in America... You yeah, numbers would be nice, historical data, logic... testimony? <laughs> No, Does testimony means testimony nothing. Count? I don't care about anyone's version of truth. I care about evidence. I don't care about feelings. I care about facts. Are, are most of these studies based on, partially based on testimony, though? No, when you say that Asian Americans are the richest people in America, that's math. That's looking at people's income. That's not testimony. Okay. Testimony would be a singular person saying, I've had a tough time. That would be testimony, which that might be true, 
but that doesn't so make it true in the aggregate. I'm sorry? Is there discrimination against There's discrimination against all sorts of people. Yeah, is it worse against black people or is it equal? Depends what part of the country, it depends what situation. And when that exists, so there's together, laws to put people in prison. If, it, if you put them all together, which race faces the most discrimination in this country? I would say probably Hispanic Americans in certain parts of the country, even more so. But but I, I have no data to support that. You asked me some anecdotal question. I, I haven't done that much thinking about it. But I'll say this. In America, if you make a sequence of good choices irrelevant of skin color, you will be rewarded for those choices. We're one of the only countries in the world where that is possible, where you can have intergenerational ascension, where your kids can be better than how you are today. It's not a fallacy. That's why Asian Americans entered. Everybody. That's why Asian Americans entered in the 1940s as the poorest group in America, and they're now the richest group. The Constitution was not written in Korean, yet they they have benefited the most that's, from what people that's, call that's a white predominant society. Indian Americans, for example, from India, are the second richest per race. Was was the Constitution in written in Hindi? No, that's exactly the point. Oh, okay, gotcha. But Couldn't continue. The, the, the point is that people say that our society is rigged for white individuals and white men. The evidence does not suggest that. There's twice as many white people living in poverty today than black people. Now, the, the rate for poverty in the black community is much higher, but the aggregate number is something that should not be ignored. So the, the misconception that our country is rigged just for people based on a certain skin color has zero evidence. Yet that is the predominant thing that is being taught in our university. When did it stop? What do you mean? When did that when did it not be rigged anymore? Because it clearly used to be rigged. You're saying it isn't rigged now. That, that's a fair point. I'd say throughout the 60s and 70s and 80s, as America got significantly less racist, as we passed the Civil Rights Act, things got more equitable in the sense where better decisions got rewarded more. And you don't think that there could be a lag effect of 350 years of slavery and 100 years of Jim Crow? I think those inequities have been more balanced out, more so than it's even worth considering that, that 350 years of inequity. For example, Asian Americans built the, the railroad system in America in the late 19th, in the late uh, 1800s, early 1900s in America. We put Japanese Americans in internment camps in the 1940s. Jew Jewish Americans had an extermination order against them in Europe in the 1940s. The point being is that right. So almost every racial ethnic group has had some form of suffering. So to point to something that happened a very very long time ago and to attribute the inequity today today to that it wasn't that long ago though. When was when was slavery abolished? Slavery was abolished in 1808. The international slave trade was uh, was. Uh, got rid of. But then we actually resorted to chattel slavery, which is where we bred them uh, like cattle. You're not going to hear me defend slavery for a okay. second. No, I mean, that, no that, that, that's one good, because I would think it would be an asshole. It's one of the great sins of the American story. Yeah, but you know what's right. also admirable about it? How we got rid of slavery. What? Something because admirable about slavery? No, no. What's admirable about our history, not about oh, slavery. Okay. Thank you. But we still because have to doubt with like, the repercussions. What, 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 what repercussions would that be? The lack of the ability for certain people to keep going well. Such as who? I don't know, like I was down in New Orleans, right? And I see all these mansions eating. And it's like those people, their old mansions, they made their money, they're probably slave owners. And then you go into a black neighborhood and it's like... But they might have been slave owners in 1865 they when have the American... They accumulated wealth that can compound versus people that don't have the opportunity. Oh, okay, to so you're, you're making a fair point that there might be intergener intergenerational inequity. How do you go about them. Well, some people on the left would say, you tax it, you take away from what people used to have. I totally and completely disagree with that. What do you think? Then what is your case? What is, because I don't, reparations then? There's no reparations. I believe in opportunity. Instead of trying to fix Thank the you. past, which will never happen, which is a horrible idea, yeah, you create a better future. It'll never happen with yeah. No, because you know why? Any country that's ever tried reparations has failed miserably. South Africa, for example. They've tried reparations the last 30 years. They're more racially divided on the brink of civil war than they ever have been. You think we're on the brink of civil war? I hope not. You think so? No, I said I hope not. But I asked if you think so. No, I don't think hope. we are. But it's people on the left that want us to be more divided than not. No, I think it's like you. No, no, no. You're because, here trying to divide people. Hold on a second. Uh, do you support black-only dormitories? Sure. You do? Okay. That's resegregation. You realize that? No, I think if black people want to do that, we should allow them to because they have to face the Well, then, would you support white-only dormitories? No. Why? 
because it's a, pretty much the school is white open. Pretty much every dormitory is white open. I don't know the demographic makeup of Oregon, but I would, looking around, I'd say it's a more diverse campus than just being a white-only campus. If black people want, yeah. So you believe in black-only graduation ceremonies at Harvard? If they want that, sure. So, so, Why do I care? Why does it bug me? Well, it should bug you that we're no. resegregating no, parts of the population. Me. There's a difference. That it's people totally marched in this. What, what's the difference? White people say that black people have to be separate. What's the difference of skin color? What's the difference between a white person and a black person? Tell, you. tell me what's the difference between a white person and a black person. There's no difference. They're both no, human beings. They're, they're only like one race, the human race. They're treated they're, differently. How are they treated differently? Give me one piece of evidence. What can a black person not do in America that I can do? They get treated differently by the police, and I've seen it. Really? Yeah. Even though the data shows that a data black person... Can be, data can be used to lie. Police, Wait, police so, da so facts don't matter, police essentially. Police departments are actually capable of policing their own records, so yeah. the, the ability... Even though most of the inner city police see. forces are black majority police forces. Are they? Okay, Such as Philadelphia. Great. Philadelphia is a 44% black city with a 56% black police that force. Bugs you? No, it actually gives me happiness. That, really? Yeah, because I, I, I care about all people and I don't look at people on, based on race like you so do. So you're post racial? Absolutely. Because it does that You're not. You're the one that wants black only graduation ceremonies and black only dormitories. That's not what I said. You're okay with it? I'm not okay with that. Yeah, we desegregated America. We de we de that <laughs> argument works for you, and it's not desegregated. It's there's not. A, there's still a lot of problems. And like to say that if people want to have, but the problems are not based on race. Yeah, they are. It's, there's you, tons you have, of racial problems in America. You, you, you have yet to are. give me any evidence or data or one piece. Do of you example. believe that there are any racial problems? Ab individually, absolutely. Are there individually committed people that are racist? A hundred percent. Do you believe the that there are systemic no? President racial Trump is one of the least racist people in America. <laughs> Do you believe you that? Like no, give me one. Give me one evidence that he's racist. How about he got caught discriminating against giving out? Uh, Complete and total false. Not true whatsoever. Okay, what, so what, you cannot believe. Facts wait, no. What, 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 would would okay. a racist president, such as President say, Donald Trump, put a black woman as the that first army sergeant that is ever not a real in the history of the United States Army? That, that I'm would a racist to have a black friend argument. The first fly. army sergeant. So, 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 uh, 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 no, the first army real. sergeant ever in, in the history of, of the, the U.S. The, army. The that, 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 woman, that's not true. The first woman battalion commander. You can look oh, it up. Oh, okay. Confirmed battalion commander by the United is different States than the Senate. The first black woman confirmed by the United States Senate in a position of the United States Army ever. Here's a very simple okay. question for you. At what point does someone stop being a racist in your mind? You haven't thought, but yet you're quick to label, but you're not quick to retract or have a line in your head. That's pretty Maybe dangerous, isn't when it? They die. When they die. That's pretty sinister. Do you think I'm a racist? Yeah. Are you a racist? Wait, no, hold on a second. He thinks I'm a racist. Why would you say I'm a racist? Just the stuff you're saying. Name one thing I've said that's ever racist. Whatever, I'm not going to play that game with you. Just kidding. He doesn't need a hype guy. He doesn't need a hype guy. He's doing good on the Amazon. It's weird, right? This two two guys coming out to talk about racism, uh, also talk about white privilege. Uh, oh, it feels like they didn't do that research properly before coming. Is there something about this um, white privilege of a team racism? The funny thing is, you you hardly I have never seen an Asian America come out to see white privilege exist. When people are doing successful, successfully. You, 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 you hardly come and see them talk about sometimes it's white privilege of a thing. Like, let me see, Asian Americans are very, very successful in America. You hardly come and see them talk about white privilege. Why? Because they are working hard and they know what they are all about. When you see a black man come out to talk about white privilege, he's playing the victim role that his forefathers were actually enslaved. When you see a Latino coming out to talk about white privilege, he's playing the, the role of, yeah, I'm not being treated well because of my skin tone um, and probably the way I talk. They are always bringing out excuses a lot. And if you see anyone coming out to talk about white privilege of a teen or racism, watch their character. They have bad attitude. They have bad character. They like playing the victim role. They're always in the box. They never want to leave their box. This right here, these two guys, if it's like they just gang up against Charlie, they, they, they want to just prove him wrong. That white privilege exists. They just want to prove him wrong. And Charlie was really prepared, really ready. I know Charlie, in his conversation, he was making some mistake in 
in his in his words, but it kind of like retreats and gets it right. We all make mistakes. I make mistake when I, when I speak. You understand? Does not mean I'm perfect. Yeah, there's a lot of when you're saying things about research, about fat, about your findings. There are sometimes you make some errors. It, it, it happens to everyone. But when you make the error and you correct it instantly, means that was an error. That's exactly what Charlie did. There's some little error he made. Then he, he oh, he noticed, yeah, this, this is just a wrong. He made, made some corrections. These two guys right here, they are, they are racist. It is proven in them. They just want arguments. They just want fights. They just want war. Telling me white privilege exists. And you're not giving me one fat, one, one thing, just one to prove your fat that white privilege actually exists. G tell me something a black man can do, a white man cannot do, or a, what, something a white man can do that a black man cannot do. There is absolutely nothing. There is nothing. But people feel they, they keep on using that 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 word of. They were enslaved in, in centuries ago, 18 something, they were enslaved. Charlie says, stop looking at the past. Look at the future. Where are we right now? You are in America, in a city of opportunity, where any race or diversity can just come in and make something of themselves. There is no other place in the world that that's happened. And you are sitting in me us that white privilege exists. Black were enslaved. Asian American passed through a lot. They did not just wake up one day and boom. They're one of the wealthiest people in, in America. It does not happen that way. It is out of consistent efforts and hard work and mindsets. That mindset is different. They don't feel victim. They don't feel enslaved. They don't feel like um, this group are doing more better than that. They want to grow way higher. This is something about Asians. Like it's, it's a very beautiful character. If if you follow an Asian, you follow their way of life, you will be successful. It is it is who they are. They don't they don't fake it. They don't hide it. It is who they are, and they, they influence people by it. Is if you feel that bit some of yourself, you will never move anyway. This I just don't want to tackle these guys because number one they were rude. Number two, they are being cocky. Number three, they are racist. Very, 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 very. That racism, that racism is very high. <laughs> very, very high. Like, d d d what would I say about this guy? The one with the spec, he just, he just wants to prove Charlie wrong. He just wants to prove that Charlie is wrong. But we ask, there is no facts to prove that. You have no data to show it. You have no, no nothing researched that you, you come out and say, Charlie, this is what I saw. Nothing. It's, 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 it's funny how some... So, some people just come out and just say white privilege of a team, white privilege of a team. They say some police are police treat black people different from white. <sighs> We've come back again to this. It's, it's, it's funny how they keep on bringing this out every single time about this police treat these people way better than this. They, they, they are more favored. They, they, don't, they don't ask them for papers. I watch a video about Latino coming out to say um, police stop them and ask them for papers. Police stop every single person. It is their job to ask about where you are coming from, about your papers. It is how it is being done. In perspective of your skin color. I don't know what, what else Charlie is going to tell us people that are white privilege is a lie. Uh, I really don't know what this. But they are, they, are, they are taking it too personal to their hearts to want to destroy and also bringing out the past of what have happened. Charlie said... That is one of the biggest things America have ever done Why? by enslaving other people. It, it, it is bad. We all know it's bad. But we have, we have lived that era. We are going forward. How are we going to move forward? Not carrying us back to the history, history class, carrying us back to the time of enslaving. That, that such art existed. True. But it has been abolished. And they choose to move forward. So everyone should move forward. I know a lot of bad things happen. A lot of black women we punished and stuff. They, what, what has happened has happened. We we'll move forward. That is how it's done. You won't see any white person right here who ever owned a slave. It is done by their four, 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 four fathers. 
It is not, it's just not our fault. They were not there when the slave were, when people were enslaved. They were not there. So who do you want to punish? There is no person. So what, what are you going to do? You move forward. A lot of black people want rep reparation. They wanted to be compensated for the for the forefathers that were being enslaved. Like it makes no sense. People, the white people, people who are here right now, they never own a slave. They never they will never experience that slavery aspect. They never witnessed it. So will you want to blame them for what their four 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 fathers did? No. You want to move forward. This 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 is a lot. <laughs> I just don't want to keep on stressing it. Comment down below, think about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as you can subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed, I got scales all